Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's video. I'll preface this video by saying that there are certain features you cannot use in the iOS app. Two that come to mind are pivot tables and conditional formatting. So probably not something you use every day, but still nice to have every once in a while. If you do need to use these features, you can click here to watch my tutorial where I'll show you how to do all of this via Excel online, or alternatively, I put the link in the description of this video too. All right, let's get into it. Using Microsoft Excel on your iPad is very similar to using it on a laptop. Everything you see will be pretty familiar and your keyboard and mouse are your best friend here for navigating around your documents. It's definitely a better experience using the keyboard and mouse than it is relying on just the touchscreen. First things first, open the Excel app on your iPad and choose an existing file or create a new one. The spreadsheet on your screen will look exactly the same as an Excel spreadsheet would look on any other device and you'll recognize all the tabs at the top here for doing things like inserting tables and inserting shapes. You can easily move around the spreadsheet using touch gestures on the screen or using two fingers on the trackpad if you have a case like this one, the Logitech Smart Folio Touch. You can also zoom in and out of the document by pinching on the screen or by pinching on the trackpad. Now, the most important step with using any of your Microsoft apps is to keep your work saved in OneDrive. To do this, simply click on the three dots in the top right corner of the screen and you'll see the file menu, which is standard across all the Microsoft Office apps. Make sure the autosave is switched on and this will keep all your work backed up in OneDrive, which is a great way of making sure your work is always kept safe as soon as you make any changes to a document. It also means you can access the files from anywhere with Excel Online, which I'll talk about in detail in the more advanced Excel tutorial and you can watch that one by clicking up here. That's the one that talks about conditional formatting. Within the file menu, you'll also be able to see this help and feedback tab where you can search up any Excel related topics if you're not sure how to do something. And don't forget, Google and YouTube can also be a really great resource if you can't figure out how to do something specific with Excel. Let's say you need to highlight a few cells. All you need to do is click the first cell and drag to the end cell exactly the same as you would on a laptop. You can then copy and paste this with the right click on your mouse or by clicking with two fingers on the trackpad. Now let's say you want to paste in some data from another spreadsheet. For starters, you can actually open two spreadsheets side by side on an iPad. Click up here to watch our tutorial about using two apps at the same time if you want to learn how to do that because it's too much to fit into this video. But essentially, once you've copied the bits you need, you can either right click, paste, or you can use your favorite keyboard shortcuts such as Command C and Command V to copy and paste data. Now you might want to add in some formulae to work on a few calculations. Yep, you guessed it. You can use all your favorite formulae with Excel on the iPad. At the top of the screen, you'll see the formula bar that's present on every Excel spreadsheet. And this is where you can enter formulae just like you would on a laptop or click on a cell and start typing away. You can use all your favorite formulae such as equals sum, adding cells together or working out percentages and even doing VLOOKUPs. If you're working on a spreadsheet with your colleagues, you can even use the review tab here to comment on the spreadsheet and leave feedback. Your colleagues can then reply to these comments while working on the sheet in real time. So now you're pretty much all set. We're working on plenty of other tutorials for Excel as well as all the other Office apps. So be sure to subscribe to the channel by pressing the red subscribe button. And you can also click the bell icon if you wanna get a notification every time we upload a new video. 